first hunting trip I've done since turkey season. We spotted a good buck up here. You see him? I think I told you this before, somebody at my golf club was like, how do you do it, you know, with a beard in the summer? And I was like, what? And she's gut. like, doesn't it, doesn't it make you hot? I'm like, I'm 40 pounds overweight. <laughs> like, the beard is the least of my issues. So this is a real reason we're here in Texas this week to, uh, a, to make fun of Taylor Chamberlain, but also to be slightly entertained by his antics. If you can shoot while you're laughing, you can shoot with a big bucks in front of you. It is so hot out here that the wax in my string is literally melting and like it's liquid. It's coming out of the bowstring. It's 113 degrees on the ride in here. It's actually the first first hunting trip I've done since turkey season. So this is kind of kicking off our 2023-2024 season. And uh, got the invite from Colton Moore, who's a country singer. Um, he owns Perennial Outfitters down here in South Texas. Totally different terrain than I'm used to. We're actually kind of in hill country. There's a river that kind of flows right here behind camp. So we're just gonna go out here this evening. Got a couple hours before dark and uh, just poke around a little bit and try to get the feet wet. Probably got some rust to shake off because it's been a minute since I've been, been behind the bow and been behind the camera. So, we'll see how it goes. So, Colton and Taylor said they spotted some deer. Oh, there's, there's one right there. Right on the fence line. Yep. Kind of easing our way down this ridge line along this fence. The deer are kind of working the way down into this river bottom. And Jake thinks that they're going to come up over into this pasture. And once they're over in the pasture, we can't hunt that side. But there's like seven or eight does in there. And you would think in the middle of the rut there'd be a buck with those does. All sorts of weird noises out here. It's going to take a minute for me to get my bearings. Their bodies are way bigger than the yeah. Hawaii deer, for sure. Heck yeah. And they're bigger than Hawaii deer, too. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Especially like having long points. Those Hawaii yeah. deer seem to never These have These are long way points. deeper. How many inches do you think that is? That deer will he'll scratch 34 on this side. Okay. This side's a little bit longer than that. Everything's kind of longer. And is that like a. a really That's a top solid tier one? deer for us, yeah. Yeah, for sure. The uh, goats started kind of boogering them up because we didn't have a shot on him. He's this deer. Okay, I was going to say that one on the right, though, was a lot bigger. You should have shot that one. Yeah. <laughs> but you did, I guess. I just knew he was going to stand up. I'm like, oh, we're going to get a perfect shot on him standing up. And they're like, but he's clear. <laughs> we're killing them. Dude, that footage is awesome. Please just stand by 
lonely church. He makes his money selling open funds. His woman lives in battle, we could go home. With a deacon down to Mexico, we're singing. Texas. We decided to drive to a different ranch about an hour away, uh, a place where a couple of the other guys were hunting yesterday and had a bunch of activity. A bunch of bucks were running, roaring in here. The place we were at the last day and a half was pretty dead, so we're actually set up on a corner where two fences meet. There's a hole in the fence at like 45 yards, and we already had two, two deer work their way through that hole. So plan is to sit here for about an hour till the sun gets up. Hopefully we catch some coming through. If not, we're going to get up and do some more spot and stalk, some more classing, and uh, hopefully get on a buck. I saw the buck. 250. I think that was the last one. Oh, there's another one. And it looked like he was in velvet still. Is that possible? Yeah, but I'm talking about this, through this V in that, what those does are right there. Yeah. There's a big buck in there. Hard horn. Just getting that tree line? Yeah, I just hugged the shade. Yeah. Maybe you get down at the fence and just hug the fence all the way. Just, I'll just, we just need to stay around the shades at because if we can stay out here like this. Yeah. They're all just kind of, they're all grouped up on the top of this hill. They could either bed down up there, or if they drop off the backside, we're just going to hightail it up there, follow this wood line, and try to get on the top of the hill and just kind of ease over the top. It's just wide open right, right here, so we can't really do anything. There's a lot of eyes. I see like four or five of the does down in this dark timber. I don't know if that's the whole group or not, but we can't go any farther. What's that one right there? Let's just get beyond this bush. Oh, that one's still up the hill. first group of does and it looked like just does so we were kind of worried that one of the bucks held up with the, that group of does but I think the bucks kept going so hot <laughs> about to have a little siesta midday it's two o'clock mile 107 degrees we got some hammocks we're gonna set up A little taut. Nah. Probably what you need it to be. If you don't fall to the ground. Nice. 
you take my boots off for me? <laughs> <laughs> it's 5.30. Had a little siesta and uh, we decided to make kind of the same loop that we did this morning, dropping down to this bottom into the really the corner of the property and then working our way back up to where we left those deer later in the morning. I guess the end goal is to get back to that hole in the fence where I think those couple bucks that were roaring, they went that direction. I don't know if they crossed the fence or went up in that hole in the fence, but we're hoping they work their, their way back this way this afternoon and we can kind of intersect them. That's the plan anyways, if we survive. to breathe this better though. Yeah, look at his face. That might be the one we stalked first this morning. He like goes way back and up. That was cool, he's got that dough up. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, he's, he's a thick boy. He's a shooter for sure. Looks like a really old buck. He had like gray face with a scar under his eye. There's a bunch of eyeballs in there, so we're gonna back up a little bit. Probably circle up around a pie. And just try to get closer, get in the game. We'll probably get to a point where we can see like the next the next closest deer and then just kinda wait and see what he does. Gotta get in the game. Those two bucks were, they, they weren't gonna know what was going on. Yeah. I think that they had pushed pretty far up the hill, so. Yeah. Kind of behind them, but.
course he did. I mean, he was shaking his head. He was shaking his head. Because, because I told you to stop because I thought he was, but he was shaking his head. I mean, he was totally, like, nonchalant when he was bedded down over there. I don't know how he didn't see us staring yeah. out there. That was the buck that we filmed through the spotter. The gray face buck, and then he was one of the ones that was fighting. Killing these things with a bow is not easy. No. That was about, a, about as good of a scenario as we could ask for, it, though. <laughs> Dang it, man. Well, we are back at the tree that we started this morning. Did two full loops around the side of the property. But we got some access here across the road here. And uh, the deer that we chased this morning came up this way, so I'm hoping they come back down before dark tonight. Yeah. There's a giant buck, probably 120 yards, 140 yards, on the other side of this road, which is off the property. But they're they're kind of milling around behind this bush. Maybe they'll come over here and hop the fence before. Gypsy woman. We're looking for gypsy woman today. Let him get in that brush and then go. Hit him, buddy. I lost the air behind that bush. Yeah, me too. It looked like it looked like it fell in. Yeah, it looked good. Dude. I'm shaking a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> He's 
it's hard to see. I mean, it, yeah, I definitely, it sounded like it hit, right? You can almost see the broadhead. Show them. Yeah. Oh, you were filming through that? So, you can see the arrow sticking out. Oh, really? You got really good, like, penetration. Can you see the arrow hit him? No, you can't. Because it, it drops down below the oh, Yeah. Yeah. Shut up. Dude, he's, he's dead. dead. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Wait, I still don't see him. Right oh, no way. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Let's go, jockey. <laughs> yes! Oh, there it is, yeah. Dude. First blood with the Matthews, baby. Let's go. <laughs> oh. Sunrise is early in the morning. This is him. <laughs> Holy smokes, thank you, Lord. Yeah, he did not go far at all. No, not at all. Smoke. 40 yards. Golly, man. Heck yeah, dude. They're so pretty. First hunt of the year. You think this joker is just ancient? Yeah, he's an old dude. Just because the way his, how gray his face is and his chest. Big I can tell that his chest like super developed from that. Yeah, you can tell. Video like, last night. Bucks, their their legs look super, super short just because. Oh how yeah. Big their bodies. Look. Yeah. Yeah, he's chunky. Dude, this is a cool place. What were we singing on the way down here? One of, uh, one of Colton's songs yeah. uh, come back to me, Gypsy Woman. Yeah. Old Gypsy Woman, she came back. <laughs> she came back this morning. Thanks, Colton. <laughs> that's red, bro. Yeah, that's awesome. This is your thumbnail. This <laughs> is <laughs> <laughs> God! I got foot entrapment. I'm suing you guys. <laughs> oh! You need to step on you. break my ankle on down. <laughs> Nothing like some good Texas style breakfast tacos after a successful hunt. Cheers, fellas. Cheers. If you guys are interested in doing this hunt, go check out Perennial Outfitters. Uh, and also go check out Colt Moore's music. He's actually really, really legit. He's really good. So um, I don't know if he's going to let me do this, but hopefully the soundtrack to this episode was a lot of his music. Uh, I'm going to have to run that by him first, but that's the plan anyways. But uh, thank you guys for watching. Let's get out of here. Looking like a crazy